Hello, DJ Vic Weber with you. And just wanted to take a look at some uh, MIDI bass files that I have and show you guys kind of the, how I use them and why I've created them. I have a collection of over a thousand and they're MIDI bass loops. I have them all organized here in uh, various categories. And I've collected them, I don't know, I would say probably over a series of three or four years, maybe maybe a little bit longer, but anytime I found a good loop or a good collection of loops, I would take the time to you know transform it into a MIDI file and make sure it was all quantized and organized and set up the way uh, that it sounded good. So having said that, just wanted to show you guys kind of how you can take something as simple as a MIDI bass loop and basically that's the structure for the whole song because how often do you put maybe some beats down and then find a couple chords that are cool and then you're like okay now I need to put a bass together right and the bass has to follow the chords and all that fun stuff and that's you know that's fine that's there's nothing wrong with that I've, I still kind of produce some of my tracks that way but if you have a serious collection of MIDI bass files that's your song, and I'll, I'll kind of show you the concept here. So let me just browse through a few of these. Let's say, eh, let me go down here and see if we can find something like in this funk category. Maybe egg base. Really doesn't matter what I pick. We'll just go with that one for the sake of uh, showing you the concept. So, all right, I'll grab this guy. I'll bring it over here and I'm going to drop it into a channel I already have set here. And I have Cthulhu on here. And I just picked a Bach Chorale, doesn't matter which one. I can change it if I want. But Cthulhu is now, well actually, let me put it on this channel first. This is my bass channel. So there's our bass loop. So how can we make, how can we take that and make a track out of it? So we've got it right here. Let me um, alt drag it to the Cthulhu channel. And of course, as you know, Cthulhu takes each note and makes chords out of it. So what we can do is we can use Cthulhu to generate a chord pattern that's going to follow our bass pattern. And all we got to do is find something we like. So I've got Cthulhu routed over to um, a synth here. So let's see what we get and then we can kind of experiment with different sounds that we like. So you can see real quick how there's our chords, just generated our chords for ourselves. So since we've got some MIDI coming in here, we can actually go ahead and record those chords. And there's our chords right there, just recorded from Cthulhu. So now I've got my bass pattern, I got my chord pattern. And what I can do now is go ahead and I don't need this pattern here in Cthulhu anymore, in the Cthulhu channel anymore. I'll alt drag this guy up. Let's get these guys over here a little bit out of the way. And now let me unarm that. Let's go ahead and tell Cthulhu from these chords make us an ARP pattern. So I will just go down here and pick anything random. Let's say 
half bar patterns and let's just experiment with this a little bit and see what we get. I'll just generate that one because I could be here forever. It gets a little bit of fun to explore this stuff. So let's go ahead and record those art patterns in. So just like that, I took one file, one base file, created a chord pattern and an art pattern. So now I can just get rid of Cthulhu. Oh, well, I don't have to get rid of it, actually. Well, I'll do it. We'll get rid of it all together, and we'll bring this guy down here. And, and let's put the base back on top. That's what we started with. So now we've got our base, solo it. And we've got this little art pattern. And I don't have any synth on the chords. So let's just go grab a poly synth. I guess we'll be all right. See if we can't find something uh, that inspires us a little bit here. So let's solo it. And again, just for the sake of the video, I'm not going to explore too long, but you can see how you can get lost in just searching for sounds now because your patterns are identified for you. So there's our chords. So we've got our chords and our bass. And let's go ahead and find a better sound for this art. So let's so let's hear it all together real quick here. I do a little bit better with this. It's a little trancy. See how you can get lost just exploring. But let's see if we can't dial something better in on those chords.
maybe using uh, the polysynth isn't the way to go here. So let's try the FM, see if it has any better selections for us. And we haven't even added beats yet, so now I've got something that gels and feels good here. Got a bass, piano, and an arp. It's gonna get real stupid as soon as we add some beats, so let's see what happens. Let's just keep it easy and simple and see what nerve can dial up for us. Always a lot of fun exploring some beats within this guy. So I'll move it over here and we'll just hit some presets and we'll see what we can come up with. So we'll just see what we get. Look at that, like the first choice sounds good. That's this is just sick. And we started with that simple MIDI bass loop. I mean, how easy is that? And within, I don't know maybe 10 minutes or so, I don't even know how long it's been. We've got a killer groove going that we can work with and build a track from. So inspires me immediately. Definitely create a track right there. So like I said, I've got, there's well over a thousand in my uh, collection. And I'm going to put a link in the description below if you guys want to download some of these. Check them out and kind of play around with this concept. Feel free, but I'm telling you right now, MIDI bass loops. That's what you want. It's what you need. It's what you got to have. But that's the way to roll. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for pushing play. You guys have a great weekend and peace.